All right, with Laravel Vapor, there are timeout restrictions that you need to be aware of when deploying your application. So the first is, by default, Vapor is configuring Lambda to timeout after 10 seconds for any HTTP request. So looking at an example here, I have this custom endpoint set up that has a dynamic timeout parameter. So I can timeout after five seconds, which is just going to sleep you know, for five seconds and then give me a DD response. Or I can try to sleep for 15 seconds, at which point Lambda is going to timeout this job because Vapor has configured Lambda to stop after 10 seconds. All right, so internal server error is Lambda timing out. All right, and then now I can change this timeout to be 45 seconds and then redeploy this. All right, so we've deployed our timeout override to 45 seconds, so now we can test it on our endpoint here. So I want to timeout 45 seconds. So what's going to happen is API Gateway actually has its own limits. After 29 seconds, API Gateway is actually going to time out in which we'll see a different error message here instead of internal server error. Now, this is one thing to consider when deploying your Laravel Vapor applications is that if you have HTTP requests that are longer than 29 seconds, you need to use the application load balancer instead of the API Gateway. So here we go. After 29 seconds, we have endpoint request timed out. We never reached our 45 second timeout. And again, that is because API Gateway has timed out this request. So in summary, what this means is if you have long running HTTP requests, such as maybe like a third party request, you need to make sure it either runs less than 29 seconds or you do it in a job. Otherwise, you have to use the application load balancer, which comes at a cost of $17 a month flat plus usage. The one good thing to note here is that for queue jobs, uh, this is not applicable. Queues don't run through the API gateway. Instead, what happens is you go through SQS, and SQS has a Lambda trigger set up to call your Lambda directly, so it doesn't have to go through the API gateway. So I have an example here with my job where I started to sleep for 35 seconds, and you can see it started at 13 seconds in, and then 35 seconds later at 48, uh, the sleep finished and our job finished successfully. So queues are unaffected. It's just for HTTP requests. Um, and again, if you're over 29 seconds, either make sure you're not over 29 seconds, uh, use an application load balancer, or move those requests to a job. All right, that's it. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter, at Owen Conti.